Washington football fans, well, guess what? We are playing the Carolina Panthers this weekend, so it's a little bit of a family reunion there for Ron Rivera. Uh, heading back to Charlotte to take on his old team and his old quarterback as well in Cam Newton. So let's look at the injury report first for this game. So if we look at the injury report, here is what happened on Thursday. Um, limited practice for uh, Shadiq Charles. Um, he had been dealing with uh, the illness, but I believe it was um, COVID. So he is limited, probably will be ready to play for Sunday. Uh, Kendall Fuller uh, had a knee injury. He was limited uh, practice on Thursday. Of course, Curtis Samuel did not practice. Uh, Ricky Seals Jones did not practice. Uh, Benjamin St. Juice had limited practice. He's been uh, in concussion protocol. Uh, Sam Cosme, limited practice, been dealing with that ankle injury. I'm hoping we can get him back. Um, Antonio Gibson, uh, limited practice. Uh, of course, you know, Antonio has been dealing with the shin uh, injuries for pretty much this entire season. Um, it hadn't really slowed him down too much. Um, actually, I think he's gotten better as the seasons progress. So, but you know, he still has to nurse those injuries. Uh, Terry McLaurin, he was full practice, um, been dealing with a shoulder injury. Um, Samus Reyes, who had been dealing with a hip injury all year long, <clears throat> um, he uh, had full practice on Thursday. Brandon Sheriff. Um, you know, still nursing that knee injury. He did return back uh, to play for us against the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. Uh, he had limited practice on Thursday, uh, same as he did on Wednesday. And then Danny Johnson was full practice, uh, been dealing with a wrist injury. Now for the Carolina Panthers, their injury list is not nearly as, as long and um, pretty much all of their guys were at full speed on Thursday, full practice. Marquise Haynes, uh, Frankie uh, Levu, I think is his name, or Laval, uh, <clears throat> Rasheen Melvin, uh, Stanley Thomas Oliver, um, all of those guys were at full practice on Thursday. So um, Carolina's pretty healthy. They have Cam Newton back. Uh, they're playing at home. This is going to be a spirited, uh, hyped-up game for the Carolina Panthers. They right now hold the last spot in the playoffs. So if for some reason, if the regular season ended today, Carolina Panthers would be in the playoffs. So this is a big game for both teams, certainly for the Washington football team because they need to keep winning in order to try – to clinch some sort of playoff berth. Uh, and then honestly, they're probably gonna have to wind up winning out in order to achieve that. For Carolina, you know, they need to, to keep that spot. They need to keep ahead. And they have been playing well. Their defense is really solid. Um, going against a great defense, just like Washington did though last week. Went, a great, went against a great defense and was able to um, to beat the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. So this game is definitely a winnable game. I think these two teams are more evenly matched than what a lot of people may consider. And, uh, you know, what is going to concern me, of course, is the, the health and the depth that tied in for us. You know, obviously, Ricky Sills jones probably not going to play. And so you're going to have to rely heavily on John Bates. Um, I'm Right now, I'm kind of looking at John Bates like our... Uh, Donnie Warren. Warren. Uh, so for those who are not um, old enough to remember, Donnie Warren was our workhorse tight end back in the 80s and the early 90s. Um, <clears throat> he didn't catch a lot of passes, but he did catch some passes here and there. He was the workhorse guy who would lay the solid blocks on you. And, you know, because of that... Uh, you know, Washington had, uh, you know, could always rely on the run, um, you know, because Warren would make the key block. Of course, uh, the rest of the, the hogs up front would always make the key blocks. But John Bates kind of reminds me of a Donnie Warren. Um, and we're going to have to rely heavily on John Bates this weekend. I don't know if Samus Reyes is going to be um, getting any more 
playing time, uh, possibly. I think he's still a raw, you know, developmental prospect, but he may see some playing time as well. Uh, but we are definitely extremely thin at at tight end. So, um, and Pan Carolina Panthers are going to know that, so they're going to attack that, and uh, we have to be ready. Uh, you're probably going to see a lot of uh, passes to and J.D. McKissick and Antonio Gibson out of the backfield. Um, so we are going to need all hands on deck for this one. It's going to be a tough game. Uh, this was a game that I hoped I could have been there in person. Uh, I live in North Carolina, so uh, Charlotte is not very far from me. I just, unfortunately, things did not work out where I was going to be able to to go down there to see the game live. So I will be watching it on TV and, of course, rooting for my Washington football team. Uh, but, yes, another big game for us. Uh, you know, storyline, certainly, like I said, uh, Cam Newton coming back to Charlotte, probably going to start in this game. Um, you know, Ron Rivera coming back to Charlotte to face his former team, his former quarterback. Um, so a lot of storylines with that. Going to be a good game. We always seem to have a, a uh, back and forth game with the Panthers historically. I think the Panthers got our number last year. Um, we were able to beat them in 2018. Um, did we play them in 2019? I honestly cannot remember. <laughs> that was a horrible year anyway. We didn't win very many games. So if we played them, chances are they beat us. That all being said, that is what we're going to be up against this weekend. Uh, if you like this video, please like, share, subscribe. Let me know what you think the outcome is going to be of this ball game. Do you think we're going to be able to take care of the Panthers? Or is the Panthers going to take care of us? Let me know in the comments. And happy Friday, everybody. I will see you in the next one.